The discussion got very racy, says Daniel. Linda says, Deco, please get your crop. Punishments are needed. Oh, stuff is needed. Actually, a lot is needed, you know. There's a lot of things that we have to talk about. Actually, we got breaking news coming in. Chanel, Chanel, Chanel. Do we ever get tired of talking about Chanel? We don't, but does Chanel ever get tired of price increases? Yeah, best believe they don't. This is a Chanel price increase news flash. For the occasion, I have my Timeless Classic or 1112 small double flap caviar gold hardware. This little baby here is part of the price increase. <clears throat> It is official. I have received confirmation from my sales associate, and I'm going to share with you right now where it's at. I have my little list of prices. Let me tell you, it is not pretty. I was shocked. Now, I was at the Chanel boutique to pick up a pre-order, not a bag. I'm done with that. <laughs> I'm really done. I went to pick up garments, and... um. My sales associate said, hey, Deco, by the way, 1st of July, 2021, are you ready for this? 15% price increase on the Timeless Classics, on the 255s, on the 19s, on all the other classic bags, including most luckily also the boy bag and the Gabrielle. Let me put this beauty down here where it's safe, because now that the price increase is going up yet again, um, my bag is now officially worth more than double what I paid for it. <laughs> Back in 2015, price list. <clears throat> Chanel Classic Bags and 19 bag price increase as of July 1st, 2021. Effective. Square Mini, €3,350 Euro price today. On the 1st of July, it will go up to €3,852. Euro. The Rectangular Mini, classic leather, I'm not talking about tweeds, special embroideries, we're talking just your classic tweed in your lambskin leather. 3,500 euro from the 1st of July, 4,025 euro. You're welcome. The small double flap, which is this little beauty here, 5,500 euro is going to go up to 6,325 euro. <laughs> Classic double flap, 6,050 is going to jump up to 6,957 and 50 cents. Let's see if Chanel rounds these 50 cents up or down. Ooh, feeling frisky about those 50 cents, are we, Chanel? Jumbo double flap is going to go up from 6,600 to 7,590. But the piece de resistance is the maxi double flap, which is finally going to reach Hermes, Kelly and Birkin price ranges. And Chanel's dream comes true. Finally, they're in the Birkin and Kelly range. The ugliest of the classics, which is the maxi double flap, because it looks like an armadillo. The flap is way too low. It's too, it, it, the flap is too long in the front. But anyway, Chanel's armadillo is going to go up from 7,100 euro to 8,165. You're welcome. The 19 bag, the standard size from 4,500 going to go up to 5,175. The large from 5,000 is going to go up to 5,750. The maxi from 5,500 is going to go up to 6,325 euro. <laughs> Uh, 
Now this is, I've been calculating all of this for 15% markup. Some of them might receive a smaller markup, but we're not talking about like 2%. We're like in the 10% range, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15% range. So I might be off by a couple hundred, but you catch my drift. The Mini 255, the love of my life also. Rectangular, going to go up from 3,500 to 4,000. And 25 euro. The 255 Classic from 6050 is going to go up to 6957 and 50 cents. Again, will Chanel round the 50 cents down or up? Are they feeling giving or are they feeling stingy? Because 50 cent is 50 cent. After all, Chanel isn't it? And you need the money. 255 large from 6,600 to 7,590 euro. The 255 maxi. Here we go, Hermes. Chanel is coming for you. Chanel is coming for your crop, Hermes. Maxi, 7,100 to 8,165 euro. So. Now, my sales associate and I were, we were talking and she said, you know, Jacob, I mean, they're really trying to cut the amount of sales. Like too many people are buying them. The market is flooded. Uh, people are just not stopping to purchase and it's too much. And Chanel is really scared of losing the luster, you know, losing the desirability for these bags. So all jokes aside and all kind of quirky things that I say aside, there's a bigger picture to see here. And that is that way too many of us don't care how much these bags cost. You just want to keep buying them. And, and Chanel is like, no, 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 no. This is going to ruin our image because we cannot flood the market. They think long-term. Okay. They think really as a luxury brand, they want to sustain the dream. They want to sustain the notoriety, they want to sustain the desire and the dream behind it. And they can't sustain that if, if too many of these are sold. Uh, and in fact, the price increase is not for other bags. It's not for the seasonal bags. It's not for the less known bags. It's only for those classics that are now going up to a point where it's like, even my sales associate said, Jacob, I cannot justify this to my clients anymore. Then I asked her, how about your salary, dear? Is Chanel increasing your salary because they're increasing the prices? And then she laughed at me, says, no, hell no. <laughs> no, they never do. Rarely do they do. But no, 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 no. So where does this money go to, this extra money that they earn? A lot of it goes into producing their beautiful windows, their beautiful merchandising. Carl is not there anymore, so it's not like they're investing those millions into the fashion shows because the fashion shows have been quite toned down. So they're saving a bit of money there. So where's the extra capital going into? The pockets of a couple of CEOs or what? So... You know, there's a lot of questions, a lot of sketchiness to be answered, but I get it. They're not increasing the price all across the board. They're increasing the price for those specific bags that everybody wants, come hell or high water. And they're like, no, it's not that they, you know, it's not. I know that a lot of you are going to say, well, they just because, they, oh, you know, a lot of, you know, the speculation. A lot of people say, oh, well, Chanel just doesn't want everybody to have those bags. They just want the rich to have the bag. It's not even about that. It's about this. They don't want every single person to buy 50 bags. They want you to really think about it. Like one is enough. You don't, you know, maybe two, do two different sizes, but that's enough. Like you don't need 50 bags. And in fact, the proof is in the pudding. They also say, hey, you can't buy more than two every couple of months. We don't want to oversaturate the market. So it's not just about if you have the money to drop, you just keep buying these bags. They won't let you. They're going to say, you're buying too much. Stop. You can't do this. So I understand that part as well. I also understand people who are frustrated who say, this is ridiculous. They just want the rich to be able to afford these bags. I don't fully agree with this. 
theory. And I also understand, but I do understand it. And I also understand, you know, this take on not wanting to over flood the market, not wanting um, the desirability and the covetability of these pieces to be gone. Part of the beauty of these bags is also dreaming about them and then one day finally buying one. Uh, it's part of the beauty of these bags, it, you know? And uh, as sick as it sounds, it's not an elitist emotion. It's more of a part of the beauty of that bag is that you dream about it before you get it. I mean, not to sound elitist, but it's a part of the beauty of that bag. I worked my butt off to afford my first one. And part of the pleasure was dreaming about it because I loved it so much. For me, I can only speak for myself, but I'm telling you, the second it becomes an object that you can just every day just go and buy another one and another one and another one, well, the magic is gone. And this has nothing to do with money. This has to do literally with the type of mentality that a brand has. If the brand allows you to keep purchasing every, every week a new one, it's killing itself too, because one day then you're just going to say, oh, I'm bored of it because you will get bored of it. If, if every, if there's never anything to stop you, you're just going to oversaturate yourself to a point of nausea where you're going to be like, I hate this brand. This is so boring. So, and it's so funny because I mean, you could say, oh, Jacob, it's easy for you to say, I mean, you got your dream bags already. And I started my collection relatively early. So thank God for that. At least I'm set with all the classics. And in fact, when my sales associate said, Jacob, Price increase, 1st of July. It's like, oh, so now you're officially warning me? Like, what's going down, girl? Like, And it's so funny because it's the official kind of launch of sales just a couple of days ago. And on the, on the first day of sales, she tells me that the bags are going up in price. And then I said to her, oh, well, so what does this mean? Does this mean that, like, it feels like these bags are now on sale during sales season because now they cost 15%. It's like a 15% sale for the bags because the clothes are reduced in price now, the shoes are reduced in price for the sales uh, period, uh, costume jewelry is reduced in price. So, and now you're announcing that in, you know, on the 1st of July, you're upping the price of the bags. So now you mentally, you start thinking, oh, so the bags are on sale too now because they're gonna cost a different price. And we know already how much they're gonna cost in like less than a week. And so you have that as, and then the FOMO. So I'm like, so Chanel, told its sales associates to divulge the information amongst uh, the clients for FOMO reasons. So you, 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 you start panicking and you're like, oh my God, I got to buy the freaking bag before it goes up in price. I'm like, newsflash, world to potential buyer, uh, that bag went already up in price a year ago and the year before that and the year before that. So it's sick to think in your mind, oh, let me get it now before it goes up in price. It's already too expensive. And so I laughed when she said the price is going up. I was like, oh my God, this is so funny. She's like, what's so funny? I'm like, because I don't even care anymore. I really don't care. I do not care. Thank God I, I love Chanel for what Chanel really is. Coco Chanel's heritage and the brand um, is in many ways different from what Coco Chanel was and what her brand was when she was alive but i hunt down the essence of coco chanel when i think about chanel so the bags are magical up to a certain point you get the bags and then like you really want the clothing you want the special pieces the camellias the those more forgotten pieces of chanel history that are more connected to the heritage and the truth of chanel coco chanel never cared about bags when she was alive i mean she made the bags but it wasn't like she cared about the garments. She cared about the couture. She cared about the details. She also cared. She cared much more for costume jewelry than the bags when she was alive. So just to put things in perspective, it's it's our and marketing of these crazy brands. It's our craziness that kind of has placed bags at a. There used to be a time when we dressed up and the bags were an accessory to what we wore. But now with these luxury brands, it has become the opposite. Now we have the bag as the center focal point 
around which we construct the outfit. It shouldn't be that way. We should rein it back to how it used to be because it's way more fun to dress up, to have wonderful sense of style and playfulness and just learn how to deal with your body and how to dress it up. And then you need a bag to put your essentials. A bag is just a necessity for your essentials. Instead, it, it, everything has become about the bag. And to me, I laughed at her because I said, listen, I can't believe that these bags now cost more than those beautiful clothes that, that you guys are making. Where way more time, effort, work, and materials go into than goes into making the bags. So it's funny to me because it just makes, it's just no. <laughs> it's a no. It's a total no from me. And she understands it. But people and marketing, the, the whole craziness merged together and the bag has become the focal point of a person's, of a person's outfit. Not all people. We're talking about Chanel. We're talking about people who love Chanel, who love Hermès, who love Louis Vuitton, who love Gucci, who love Yves Saint Laurent. Like, you know, in the luxury or slash luxe area where a bag is kind of, for many people, a status symbol, um, which it should never be in my, in, my, in my opinion. But it has become, to many people, it's all about the bag and the rest comes later. We got to rein it back in, you guys. It's obvious. The brands are telling us like, hey, it's all about the bags. No, boo-boo. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Let's take the little crop out. Hermes crop and be like, no. All to all you brands. We're better than that. And there's much more fabulosity to be seen, to be had, to be purchased, to be experienced, to be loved and lived than just FOMOing about these freaking bags. I can't anymore. I'm sick of it. I'm done. Thank you, Chanel. I don't care. Why? Why increase it only 15%? Why not just say it? This one is going to go over 6,000 euro on the 1st of July. Just make it cost 50,000 euro. Chanel, and that, you do it. Why these... You know, it's kind of, it's become sad. It's become sad that these, 7% in, in price increase of 7% in November. Then we're going to sneak in another 7% in June. But then the year after that, we're going to do a 15%. What the F is that? Just up the freaking price, triple it for F's sake. Just get it over with because this is really annoying. It's really annoying with these little anally retentive price increases every now and then. Just make the freaking bag cost 50k and call it a day and let us live. Let us live. Let us just get on with our lives. Take your freaking 50k because you should be so lucky. And let us do our own shtick. And really, honestly, because I'm so sick of it. This they're doing it on purpose, you guys. Once or twice a year. They, they've instilled that into your mind. They've manipulated you. to know, They've educated. The marketing has educated the consumer to fear the next price increase. So you're constantly on edge thinking, I gotta buy now. I gotta buy now because the price increase is coming. They're doing this on purpose to keep you buying. Not to alienate you. You think you're angry because, oh... They just want their, the elite to buy their bag. No, they want everybody to fear the price increase. So everybody jumps in on it and spends money they don't got on these bags. That's the whole trick. Because otherwise, they would have just made these bags cost 50K a pop. Then you know it's elite. Then you know it's just for a few lucky ones. But the games they're playing, oh no. The games they are playing are much more shrewd and manipulative than many of us could even imagine. Call it for what it is, all of y'alls, all of y'alls luxury wannabe brands out there. Because this is vulgarity. As Coco Chanel, when she was alive, and may she rest in peace, used to say, vulgarity is not... <laughs> Vulgarity is what is going on here. Luxury is not the opposite of poverty. Luxury is the opposite of vulgarity. 
So, Chanel and Co., with your price increases. This is vulgar. This is not luxury. Luxury would be to just say, this bag costs $50,000. We make only 10 a year because that's all we can afford to make because they're handmade. We want to give so much effort into the quality. We don't want to kill so many animals. This is a special piece. It costs 50000 It is. Oh, thank you so much for the super chat, Frozen Luxury. Frozen Luxury. Watching Jacob live from Beverly Hills. Oh, from Beverly Hills? Yes, queen. Let me... Yes. Thank you so much, Frozen Luxury. Thank you. You catch my drift. Luxury is saying this bag has that price and that's it. But no. Little bit by bit price increase. That's vulgar. That's not luxury. That's vulgar. That's a vulgar, cheap marketing strategy. It's disgusting. It's vulgar. So we're not having that. But thanks to that, we get an opportunity to discover more beautiful things, more important things. The clothing, the design, the aesthetic, the special pieces, the special costume jewelry, which most of the costume jewelry sucks at the moment too. But better times will come. Trust you me. That's the logic with which we should approach their mind games of FOMO slash price increases. That's all I got to say. Now, let me get to your comments a little bit before we, we wrap it up this uh, video. Uh, thumb up the video, by the way, you guys, and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Click that subscription button. You can also join me, become a member today, gain access to extra perks, and uh, join me on Patreon as well. So... Uh, Daniel says, I hope Coco rises from her grave and haunts them. She has plenty of reasons, not just the prices, but the outrageous number five anniversary celebration. Tragic. The number five, the, the release of the products is tragic. I have a video coming out on that. Um, I will post it after this video, so you won't be able to see it just now, but later on in the card section up above. Uh, and the link in the description box down below will be the link to the my analysis and dissection, minute dissection of all of the 17 pieces um, of the first launch of the 100th anniversary number five collection. Uh, Shauna says, ready to wear is going to go up in price too. Well, everything goes up in price. That's besides the point. Ready to wear is a seasonal item. So they never they don't have carryover pieces that you kind of can follow the price increase like the same bag receives different prices from you no with, with ready to wear it's it's a different design every season so you can't really but of course ready to wear receive everything receives price increases but we're not talking this amount of price increases where the bags cost now more than the ready to wear Daniel says, I have discovered that I have the courage to carry on in life with no Chanel bag and my bag accumulation. <laughs> Cami says, what every is this? They will in time price themselves out entirely at Hermes prices. People will leave. The quality of Chanel has dropped in recent years. Paying more for less feels off. Chanel uh, should be a la par with Hermes by now. They are ish. Yeah, all these little increases, says Holy Grace. Just effing do it. Make it 50% more now and be done with it. Right, Holy Grace? I'm telling you. Just let it freaking be. It's so annoying. Um, Letty says, things only possess the value that we give them. Same with meaning. So value is completely an abstract concept. Everything else in the market is a matter of economic law and human greed. Right. And as Oscar Wilde so wisely said, today we know the price of everything, but the value of nothing. Bags do not create style, says Holy Grace. Totally agree. Totally agree. Uh, Monique, totally opposite. People used to dress up nicely. Now they just buy designer bags and exclusively only wear fast fashion uh, or athleisure or athleisure. 
No style buying bags just for status. Very well said, Monique. Very well said. Um, Louis said, I used to have that dream, but honestly, just to see how it's so expensive and how everybody has it now, I just don't even look at the bags. And now I discover Miss Vivian Westwood. Enter center stage Vivian Westwood. We adore her. Our goddess. <laughs> Katerina Williams. That's an excellent point you are making, Jacob. Thank you, Katerina, about bag and clothes. The clothes are jackets are... The clothes and the jackets are fabulous. The CC Spices. That's why my husband said they already went up many times. Huh. Yeah. Daniel says, I never subscribe to people who make videos about items they have bought just to film about and return with no original intention of keeping it. Yeah, when they get caught is especially nasty particularly embarrassing but that type of person doesn't even care if they get caught i don't think they have any sense of self-worth or pride shauna says yes i remember when classics were four thousand nine hundred dollars now they will be seven thousand eight hundred dollars uh, the max is going to be over eight thousand mm -hmm. don't don't forget to hit the like button guys thank you so much jesus yes guys like the video holy grace oh is talking to shauna okay now there's a conversation going on uh, Holy Grace says, well, the opposite that are buying bag after bag don't care about the price increases. Exactly. But this is why I'm saying the brand also in a way is fighting against that. And I mean, they're not going to say no to a client that also buys a lot of ready to wear and wants their 50 bags because you don't want to offend a client that drops so much money. But usually they're going to tell you, hey, you got to wait a couple of months. You can't just keep buying bags like that. Uh, even VIPs have uh, to adhere to these purchase limits, says Shauna. Nikki R says, the resale market is part of the problem. This curbs resellers as well. Very well said, Nikki. Yes, it's also a fight against the resellers. Because by upping the price so much, resellers have to up the price as well if they want to make a profit. But if somebody is confronted with having to spend so much money, you don't want to spend that much money on a secondhand bag. You're probably going to buy, you're going to go for the new one. And that's how Chanel is also kind of damping the resellers. Good for them. Whatever. You know, I don't care. At this point, it's just like, whatever. Make your freaking bags cost as much as you want. I really could not care less. I'm loving your clothes though just saying chanel don't start toying with those at the moment i'm kind of really enjoying their clothes um so you guys um i hope you've had a good time subscribe to my channel here and thumb it up thumb up this video you can also join me on um Become a member today by pushing the join button, gain access to extra perks. Join me on Patreon, Super Dick all spelled together, and join me on my Chanel Instagram profile called Coco Chanel is in my house, all spelled together, dedicated to my Chanel collection, as well as a Coco Chanel Privé, all spelled together, dedicated to the life of Coco Chanel. Until next time, until the next price increase, <laughs> never forget to never give up on love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Mwah.